Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. And for those of you that's just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's always following me and supporting me, salute. And for my faithful patrons, double salute. Now, today's video, we're actually going to be talking about how to increase or how to improve your FICO 9 credit score. And the reason that you want to do that is because this is going to give you so much leverage in terms of when it comes to funding. All right. Now, here's some things that I would tell you to do off bat in order to help boost up your credit score. We're going to talk about FICO score A and FICO score 9, but here's some things that you want to do uh, off bat. If you're paying rent, and your landlord is not reporting your rent. You can use uh, BoomPay or Rental Karma, and they will report your rent for you. Uh, if you use a debit card all the time, then there's an extra debit card app on your phone that you can actually download, hook up your banking information, and then all of your debit card transaction it reports at the end of the month. Of course, you can add authorized users, uh, which I'm going to talk more about that. Uh, you can also use Experian Boost. Now, unfortunately, with uh, Experian Boost, uh, some people don't like it, but hey, if it's going to give, because they said don't give them enough points, which average points they probably get is between 12 to 20 points. But hey, I'll take that 12 to 20 points if it's going to help me. And these here uh, tactics I'm telling you could boost your credit score anywhere from 25 to 100 points. All right. Then you have GrowCredit.com. Now with GrowCredit.com, uh, if you have utility bills that you want to be reporting on your uh, credit report, you would sign up for them for that. Or if you have subscriptions like Netflix, Hulu, uh, Spotify, you can use them for that. But that's the fastest way to boost up your credit score. Also, removing inquiries would also boost up your credit score as well. All right. Now, let's talk about some of these uh, financial institutions and why I chose these financial institutions in order to um, build a relationship to build up your business credit build up your personal credit now again with navy federal navy federal credit union um you don't necessarily have to be a mi military uh to join there's other ways you can join uh navy federal if you want to see that video uh put a comment below hey houston you mind sharing that video with me but understanding like i said you don't always have to be military in order to join. Now, when are you trying to open up an account with Navy Federal? They use Equifax FICO 9. All right. And on their personal loans and credit or credit cards, they more likely are going to use TransUnion FICO 9. On the business credit cards, they use Experian FICO 9. OK. Also with Navy Federal, they have internal scoring as well. OK. Their internal scoring goes from 100 to 450 so that's the reason like i made a video and if you again if you want to see that video uh as well i made a video explaining how a lady with 580 credit score better yet it's a lot of people that's with navy federal with five 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 eight excuse me with 580 credit scores that are getting twenty five thousand dollar credit cards with a 580 credit score Okay, so if you want to see that video, put a comment. Hey, Houston, can I see both videos or specify which video you want to see the video on how to join maybe federal or the video on how um, how to get access to that credit card. Now, there's another uh, financial institution called American First Credit. Um, American First Credit Union, all right? And so with them, you have to pay $5 uh, to become a member. Uh, when they, they use the Experian uh, for their accounts, their FICO 
the FICO scores. In terms of internal scoring, most of uh, financial institutions are starting to rely more on their internal, their internal scoring. And if you don't know what I mean by internal scoring, what I'm saying is that you may have a bad credit score, okay? But here's the thing. You may have direct deposits with this bank. You may be or financial institution. You may have been with them a long time. OK. And so by you being with them a long time, you have direct deposit. You have a uh, excuse me. You have direct deposit. Uh, you also have um, savings accounts. You have a personal account, you have a business account. So those are help with internal score. So even though you may have a challenging FICO score, your internal score may be high enough to still get you approved. And also the reason that I'm uh, sharing these financial institutions with you is because they offer credit cards starting at $5,000. That's right. So with these financial institutions I'm talking about, they actually start at $5,000. And again, you don't have to have a perfect 700 credit score in order to get these type of credit cards. Okay. Now here's another financial institution, Affinity plus Federal Credit Union. Again, $5,000 Visa signature card. So whenever you're trying to find a credit card that starts at about $5,000, you want to look for the Visa signature cards. Okay. Now, in order to become a member of them, uh, you have to pay $25 to the Affinity uh, Plus Foundation. You have to open an account. and more likely are going to use the Exper Experian FICO 9. The personal loans and credit cards, possibly the Experian of uh, FICO 9. Now member one, member one credit union is one time five dollar uh, for membership uh, open account. They may use Equifax FICO 9. Uh, a lot of your credit unions, there's very few, but a lot of your credit unions um, out, outside of um, some of the ones I mentioned, they may be still using Equifax, but they're using the FICO 9 scoring system. All right. Now, in terms of like with getting credit cards, if you have bad credit, challenging credit, these here credit card lenders are some of them aren't, they aren't even focused on your FICO score. They're more or less focused on your banking information. And so here's one, the Avant card. Uh, you know, it's a unsecured credit card. It's no, de no, uh, deposit requires. It reports to all three credit bureaus. Uh, it has no, no penalty, no hidden fees. Uh, they review your account. Uh, every six months to see if you can get qualified for a credit line increase. Okay, so that's some of the things about it. Also, again, it's a soft pull on your credit, but we're wanting to, like I said, the reason I'm showing you these cards, some of these cards uh, start at about $5,000. Now, this one does not start at $5,000. However, they're using FICO 9 to determine uh, and it's a softball. Okay. Now upgrade, upgrade their credit scores. Um, FICO nine, uh, the credit scores is about a 580. They're doing a softball. So it's not going to hurt your credit. Um, they evaluate your credit, your, uh, account every six months to see how you're managing the account to determine and to give you a credit line increase. They don't charge any annual fees. So also that's another thing about some of these credit cards I'm sharing with you. They don't charge any annual fees. Okay. So that means no annual fees, no activation fees, no maintenance fees. And when you do a soft pull on the pre-approval, what happens is that whatever limit you approve for, you get to see that limit right there. And once you approve, you get to use that card right then and there. So you don't have to wait. Now, let's talk about the difference between the FICO 8 and the FICO 9. The FICO 8, again, uh, is usually like for bank cards. A lot of the other financial institutions like Chase, Bank of America, 
uh, Citibank, they use in FICO 8. Uh, one of the good things about Wells Fargo, they're using FICO 9 now. Okay, so that will give you a leverage if you want a major bank. Um, again, the utilization on the credit card is more sensitive. Um, if you just have one late payment, like a 30 day late payment, uh, it's a little more forgiving uh, on the FICO 8. Now, one of the things about it with the FICO 8 score is that uh, they don't count authorized users. So people that say, oh, authorized users don't work. That's not true. It just depends on which FICO score. OK, now uh, if you have a hundred dollar or less um, collection bill, collection account, then that also won't affect you on the FICO 8. Now with the FICO 9, like medical collections, that won't affect you anymore. Judgments, tax liens. Uh, those things don't affect your personal credit anymore. Okay. So if you have a collections account, um, again, less than a hundred dollars, a collection account that's paid off. Um, if you have a late payment and that late payment is over nine months, that's not going to affect your FICO score nine. So that's the reason I encourage people to really stack up on using the FICO nine. Look at the lenders I'm showing you to start looking at how can I get funding from these lenders because I can leverage my FICO nine. Now with the FICO nine, again, the rental history, adding the rental history, adding the utilities. Now, a good thing about FICO 9, it does count in the authorized users, which is great, and also the utility bills. Now, there's another card. It's called the Jasper card, okay? And with the Jasper card, you can qualify with limited or bad credit, no annual fees. It reports to the major credit bureaus as well, okay? And no foreign transactions. I'm just trying to hook you up with the credit credit cards that I know that would help you almost be approved um, by just having a strong FICO 9 credit score, okay? Like the Deserve MasterCard, FICO 9, no annual fee, qualify with limited or bad credit, reports to all three credit bureaus. Cool thing about it, uh, if you're a person that likes Amazon, they give you an Amazon uh, membership. Um, you can, uh, once you approve, you can automatically start using the card. So it's instant approval. You don't have to put no deposit, no annual fees. And if you don't have a social security number, um, you still can qualify for the card because they're focused on banking information. Now, here's a few cards that I like. It's the Patel 1 and the Patel 2. Again, pulling FICO nine is soft pull so no hard inquiry on the credit the fico one uh excuse me the patel one card goes from 300 to five thousand dollar limit the patel two goes from 300 to ten thousand dollar limit uh they do a review every six months uh no no credit score they looking at financial information okay so again uh, where there was the emphasis on the credit score, they're looking at, okay, what's your banking transactions? Are you working? Are you constantly making deposits? Do you have a lot of overdraft? So they're looking at other things versus focusing on the FICO score, okay? And it reports to all three credit bureaus and it's no deposits. Now you have the Tomo. Now Tomo is a charge card, but again, you can have um, new credit or you can have limited credit, all right? And so it's a MasterCard. Um, it's based off your financial history. The limits go from 100 to 10,000. They're looking at your banking information. So if you bank banking, you would have to connect it through Plaid. And when they look at that financial information, that will determine how much money they're willing to lend you on a credit card. But again, these are accounts that are focused more on either a soft pool where they're not going to affect your credit or the FICO 9. So that way you can get access to more funding. If you have any questions, you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation, 
please click the link below. Check out HoustonMcMiller.net to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Or you can check out ThreeWayFunding.com to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.